So this recording is on section 4.6 and we are getting a brief introduction to proportions and percents, which will be important as we move forward through the semester. So we've been working with mean, median, and mode, and we've discussed mean and the fact that outliers can drastically affect your mean, but they don't affect your median. But another world, as I like to call it, other than the means, is a world of proportions. And proportions are used for categorical data. So when we have colors of M&Ms and we want to know a little bit about those colors, like what is the proportion of M&Ms ever made that were red, we use a proportion calculation. So a proportion measures the fraction of a group that possesses some particular characteristic, like in my just example, the characteristic being the M&M is red. To calculate a proportion, simply count the number in the group that possesses the characteristic, such as how many red M&Ms do I have, and divide the count by the total number of the group. Okay, so the sample size or the population size. So if I was doing, I was curious about what is the proportion of red M&Ms, it is not likely for me to do a population proportion because what are the odds that I'll be able to collect all the M&Ms ever created and produced and count? Whew, that would be a horrible job to count all the red ones and then know exactly how many total M&Ms that I have of all colors to calculate a population proportion, which is denoted by lowercase p, and we would divide x, which is the count of the data values with the characteristic red, divide by the total number of data values, all m and Now, doesn't sound very realistic, so a lot of the times we'll be calculating what's called p hat, okay, p with a little looking like it has a party hat on, and p hat represents the symbol for sample proportion. Same concept, but this time, if we went to the store and bought a bag of M&Ms and counted how many M&Ms were in the bag, let's say that there's 25 M&Ms in the bag, and then we counted out how many of those 25 M&Ms were red, and let's say there were five red M&Ms, then we could do five divided by 25, and that would give us 0.2, or 20% of the M&Ms were red. So 0.2 is the proportion, and when we move the decimal place two places to the right, we then get the percentage, which is just a way of rewriting proportion into percent form. Why would we want to do that? Well, proportion is more of a statistical language, and we talk about it in the terms of math and statistics, but when you actually communicate with another human, you typically talk in terms of percent. So for example, suppose your statistics class is composed of 48 students. You have four that are left-handed, and you are curious about what is the proportion of students in the class that are left-handed. You can actually just skip over these zeros and ones. They're irrelevant to how to calculate this. We already have all the information we need to know. Our proportion will be calculated by taking the part, 4, and dividing it by the whole, 48, which gives us approximately 0 0.083 for the proportion. And if we were to multiply by 100, we'd get 8.3% of the class is left-handed. Suppose you have been playing softball and have kept records on each plate appearance. According to your records, you have batted 216 times. And of those 216, you have walked 24 times, gotten on the base by a fielding error seven times, and reached base on a hit 64 times. Let's compute your batting average, which is a proportion. So we know that big N is the plate appearances minus the walks, minus the bases by field errors, which gives us 185 at-bats. The proportion of times that you got a hit, excluding walks and errors, was 64 out of the 185, which is 0.346, or multiplying by 100, 34.6% of the time you got hits without it being a walk, meaning that it was a foul and you just got to walk because the pitcher sucked, or errors, 
um, which I'm not exactly sure what they're including in the errors category. Yet again, another smaller section, but important one, and this is the conclusion of 4.6.